Hey guys, I'm back um, with the Circuit Hadron video podcast. Um, so this time, I already did a video on how to do the HD44780 LCD um, examples. So this isn't going to be uh, quite exactly... Like, this This is sort of going to be a follow-up video on that. Um, so today I'm going to be explaining the, uh, the code that actually went along with the video. So, uh, as you can probably see, this isn't the exact same code, but it's a very similar code. It's from Hectronics.com. I want to give them credit. Uh, that's where I got this code from. But anyway, I'm just going to be going over how this code works and how you can actually change this code to do what you want. And also, for future reference for the contest, this is microphone number three. So right here, um, first line of actual code, as you can see in Arduino environment, these double um, slashes represent, uh, mean that this is um, a comment. And by a comment, I mean it's not included in the code. So um, then we include, so first we include this liquid crystal.h. This is a library, comes with Arduino environment. And um, essentially, it makes it really easy to interface to these LCDs. Um, you really don't need to write much code at all. So, and then we went over the connections in the video. So go watch the video. I'll put a link to it right here, somewhere in that space. So then we define these pins. So this is the pins that I talked about, the 12, 11, 10, so that, and then remember in the video, we skipped four pins in 5, 4, 3, 2. So these are just defining the um, pins. The backlight is pin 13. This allows you to give control of the, um, the backlight to the LCD. So you can have it on or not if you want to save power or if it's in a, a bright enough room. So then we go into this void setup thing. And if you're familiar with Arduino, which I'm going to be assuming in this video that most people are somewhat familiar with it, that they've at least gotten the blink sketch up and running or the button sketch, something like that. So if you don't know, I'll probably say the void setup is something that it performs once at the very beginning of the code. So we set up the backlight pin as an output, meaning it outputs power to the LED. Then we turn on the backlight on. Okay, so that just means that the backlight is on now. Then LCD begins 16 by 2. That means that means that we're using a 16 by 2 LCD, meaning it's 16 characters long by two rows down. So if this was 16 characters, I'm not bothering to count it, then it would be like that because it would go two rows down, essentially. So 16 characters long by two rows down. LCD clear. That means just essentially make the LCD blank. Don't display anything on the LCD because if not you're going to get garbage on it and also you can use the LCD clear and put it so if you wrote something and then you wanted to take it off the LCD you could also do that set cursor 0 0 that means set the cursor on okay so the first one is the the number so if, the, if this is our 16 uh, character LCD here I'm not sure this is actually 16 characters this yellow area but who cares this is just a demonstration purpose that means set cursor, the zero, the first zero, means it's at the zero character. If it was 16, it'd be at the last character, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, etc. So that's how it works, is that zero is the first character, the most to the left, and 16 is the most to the right on the LCD. The second zero is your line, so that means it's the zeroth line, or the first line, and then this one means it's the, the, the first, the second line. So if your LCD has two lines, like this, right, then the zero, the second zero means it's the first line, and the one means it's the second line. LCD print here means just essentially write something to the LCD, so display something on the LCD. These quotation marks means we're going to be displaying just regular old text. So in here, instead of saying, hello world, we could type in something that is less than 16 characters, such as I am cool. Okay? So, and if it's more than 16 characters, what it's going to do is it's going to write off the screen so you're not going to see it. So if we just hit random stuff, then the stuff that's more than 16 characters just won't get displayed on the actual screen. But we'll change it to... Hello world. Okay. So then, what we do is, if you remember this set cursor, we display the we display this next tech on the second line, 
and right here it says hack products but I'm gonna show you something that you can do okay if you leave out the quotation marks so we delete that and we just put a variable say we call it X variable uh, we'll just call it X Y Z okay our variable is called XYZ so say we defined XYZ here we did int XYZ equals to zero okay and say we had XYZ equal to the analog root or something what the LCD will do is it will display the variable XYZ so if you said XYZ was instead of an int made it a float I'll do a tutorial on floats later then it would display the float of XYZ if you made it a byte of XYZ it would display the byte so it would just display the variable in whatever current state it's in keep in mind this is also gonna happen only when the microcontroller boots up so if you want to make it happen in your code what you do is you cut it out of there you go into this void loop function and you paste it into the void loop now say we did that and then we have it delay 1 thousand which is one second now what's going to do is it's going to turn the backlight on it's going to start the LCD it's going to clear it it's going to set the cursor at zero zero first character first line say hello world set the character at the first character at the second line print the variable XYZ in whatever form it is it's going to wait a second then it's going to do the same thing it's going to turn the backlight on even though it's already on it's going to start the LCD again so I guess we, we really don't need this this one can this one probably should go up there then we're going to turn the backlight on we're going to clear the LCD so whatever was on the LCD won't be there anymore we're going to start it again first character first line we're going to say hello world again then we're going to do first character second line and we're going to print whatever the new variable of XYZ is so if we set XYZ equal to the analog read it would then be the analog read so it would change so that's how the code for these LCD works um, this code is on the website quicknuclearscience.webs.com so go there if you want to uh, take it um, what it's going to do is if you go there so now we're here this is the website so if you go there you're going to see all the code and the pictures of the of the Higgs boson script anyway you go there you're going to click LCD example PDE and it's going to pop up in the window here you can copy everything and now if we go down to our Arduino sketch we can delete everything we've just done and now this is our original code you can paste it back in and download it to your Arduino board and it doesn't matter what Arduino board it is you just kinda select the right board here so it can be any board that you want with enough connections and you've connected it right although keep in mind you may have to change these if you connect it to something like the Mega and um, you connect it to different pins so just keep that in mind thank you for watching comment rate subscribe go to my website quicknuclearscience.webs.com um, thank you for watching um, bye I hope this helps you understand it so thanks for watching